For people living in a small country town, Friday's a special day. That's the day of the stock sales. That's the day the shops stay open until 8.30 or 9. Friday's the day when surrounding sheep stations and dairy farms are short of at least one woman for most of the day. Oh, all summer by the looks of things. Good heavens, you must be pretty slow on the job. I understood that you were chief police over out there this year. Chief everything, unfortunately. Oh, well, you've got to be kept out of mischief somehow, you know. Oh, yes, I suppose so. The early morning rail car has already brought the first of the day trippers, including Craig, down for the day from his farm job up north. Thanks very much. Good. See you again. Cheerio. Yeah. Cheerio for now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Having a day off or something today? Having a day off from the farm. Oh, I wish you were very fortunate to try and strike a day like this. Really? It is. Oh, well, we'll see you again. Right. Cheerio. Bye. That's it. You're okay? All right. Hmm. Johnny, Good morning, Mr. Duncan. 
nice day for a change. Yes, yes. Could I have two pounds of rumpus eggs, please? Good, thanks. How are uh, you? Oh, fine, thank you. Are you just the person I wanted to see, actually? I'm glad you've come this morning. Yes, well, I thought I'd come round and see you because of the uh, recent change in our, in our church program. I was wondering how you were getting on with the, uh, the children, if you were quite happy. Oh, yes, I'm happy with them. The numbers are a bit difficult. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. It. Well, the problem, of course, is that you've got from the tiny ones right up to standard one and two, and that makes it quite difficult, really. Yes, and having to keep them quiet behind the church each morning. There's a bit of a worry, but they've been very good so far. I live on a sheep farm about three miles from Turkey. On our place we have 353 acres with over a thousand sheep. We have a few cows and house cows and uh, quite a few lambs that some have been sold already and so about 20 acres in bush. And the rest, some of it's been freshly cleared and others has been cleared for quite a long time. Sometimes Dad takes sheep to the sale. When he does this, he gets up early in the morning and takes them gets, loads them onto a truck and takes them down to the your sale yards. When he do gets down there, he takes them off the truck and drives them into the yards. After this, when the sale is on, farmers come and have a look at them. And if they're interested, they buy them. Right there, boys, from right down off the coast. If you go any further, you're in the sea. <laughs> Counter on Daisley. Lambs, it'll shift and do with you. 157 in the line. You can take pen lots or better. Anybody got $2.50 to start? $2.50. Or $2 and start. Two, I'm going to two and $2. I'm going to two and $2. I'm going to $2 and 20 anywhere. $2 and 10 and $2 and 10 and $2 and 10 and 20 now. At two dollars and ten, at two dollars and ten and twenty, let me make it at two dollars and ten and me. At two dollars and ten, twenty you'll buy. Twenty. At two dollars and twenty. At two dollars and twenty. Thirty now. At two dollars and twenty, I sell them here down. At two dollars and twenty a pay. Thank you, Bob. Craig on. Take the lot, Bob. You've done a fair bit of damage here, right? Just a yeah. fair bump, eh? Well, it was just this way this morning when I was getting out these, out these sheep in. They were um, had to go out in the car in a hurry to get them in, so I put the dog on the back and let them go out around the sheep. And as I was coming back, it cut in front of me and had to swerve and went to a drain. I used to surprise you, you run around a paddock chasing sheep in the car. Jeff Tomlinson, owner of the local pub, opens up. He'll do good business today. The streets are quiet now, but the tempo of life will soon rise sharply for a while and then gently fade back into the unhurried, plodding routine known so well. 